Sagittarius, as we look at your life path and abundance reading, we see four messages from spirit that are quite profound and mind-boggling. The feeling of the world is the energy that we see coming in. It looks as though and it feels as though you have been picking up on distant callings, almost as if something is calling you forward. You're acutely aware of the sounds, the feelings, the moods, and the energies around you. You feel like you're extra, you're very much extra sensory perception almost. You have an ESP about daily life. It feels a little weird to you, needless to say. The Lady of Lightning is surprising you. She's shocking you into a totally different way of looking at things. This is much like the Tower card. What this Lady of Lightning does is she brings in all this new information. It's like you get a download when you go to sleep one night. This is all about stepping into the future, having the courage to do so, but Lady of Light absolutely understands that it's not easy, that she is full of surprises and she will shock you into accepting what you see before your very eyes. The farther gate is destiny is calling you forward. This is your life path. This is your life path reading. You are being called to a further gate to go further than you've ever imagined, to accept that destiny only opens a portal for you at certain times. This is your portal opening, and the reason that this portal is opening right now is the queen of the night. The queen of the night means that you have been manifesting everything that you desire, whether it be love, whether it be passion, whether it be excitement, whether it be the creative energy to write a poem or a song. Everything that you've ever longed for is opening in the portal of your abundance and your creation and your manifestation of the life that you've always dreamed about. So those are the spiritual energies that we're, are coming into this reading for you. Let's put these up here so you can refer to them later if you'd like to come back to the reading. But let's look and see what is going on in your day-to-day -day life. Well, Sagittarius, you look like you're fat and sassy. And I say that with all due respect. This is fat with abundance. You have much passion in your life. You have loyal, loving people in your life to whom you feel very loyal. You are in a great relationship. You feel as though the person you're with is your happily ever after. If you are not currently married to this person, it looks as though you are very likely to marry this person. We see this energy coming forward of the Hierophant. So we have two marriage energies together. When we look at your partnership house and the people that you attract into your life right now, you have a partner that is very nurturing and very intellectual. Maybe an Aquarius or a... Taurus energy, but we see you in this very abundant time in your life when you are feeling very stable. When we look at your money, you have a new opportunity coming in from a very traditional source of money. We see you being able to manifest hopes and dreams that have included your partnership, your family. Everything that you value is right here. It may come in from a foreign destination or source. This is Sagittarius energy. There you are in your reading. So for many of you, it could come in also through higher education. You may be called upon to be a teacher to be a professor, to start a YouTube channel in which you can impart a great deal of knowledge that you have acquired over a lifetime. When it comes to your investments, other people's money, a partner's money, a partner's support, you have unlimited support. You are seen as a rock star. If you wanted to go and start a new business in construction or virtually anything else, it looks that for most of you, you have a very good ability to get the support of bank funding or having a 401k, retirement funds, or even an inheritance that's going to be made available to you at this time. 
The third house and the ninth house, Sagittarius, is all about communication. We see you seeking answers. You have fire in your belly. You definitely want, you have and possess knowledge that is far beyond that of the average person. You have expertise. You are a rock star in an area of knowledge that is quite um undiscovered, unknown. The things that you know are simply typically hidden from the public. That could be anything from top secret information to wisdom or intellectual capacity to simply understand very complicated, uh, even medical types of things. Um, you might be a professor of some sort of very unique a philosophy or unusual type of studies. You would be probably one of maybe two or three in your field of endeavor that would have the skill set that you have. It could also be very much about um, creative enterprises of any sort. So if you're a songwriter, an entertainer, you, or you've worked a nine to five job and now you're going to branch into a creative arena, it looks as though it is a wonderful time to do so. When we look at what grounds you, your home life, what makes you feel secure, you do, you are watching your money. The Four of Swords also says that you may be dealing with some health issues, that you may be getting yourself healthier, getting more rest, holding back, making sure that you don't overdo it. You're keeping your home life with force, which is always stability. When we look at your career life, now we see a radical change. This is the Knight of Wands energy that is Sagittarius energy. It is your energy, and Spirit is calling you to look forward. You're looking backwards. You're looking at children. You're looking at your life as you've known it. You're looking at things through the the scope of an average person. You know, you're looking at things as you've seen on the internet, any sort of investigating you that you've done. You are being called at this time in your career to possibly make a very radical change, a change you may be very uncomfortable with, a change that is ultimately going to give you everything that you want, everything that you seek. You understand, though, very naturally that with change become, comes risk. You're very risk adverse. So it shows that, you know, you have this sort of internal battle going on with yourself and about, you know, your children or your family or people that you take care of or something creative or all of the above. So what we see is that you have many options open to you that only one or two of them are correct. Typically one. Five of Wands, everybody wants your attention. Everybody knows your name. It's like the cheer bar, <laughs> cheers bar. Everybody knows your name when you walk in. But what you're seeing here is that it's a very important time for you to stay true to your hopes and dreams, to really use good judgment, to be very discerning, and to be able to ward off insincere and flaky sorts of offers as you make this tremendous journey forward. Now, in the energy that speaks to your day-to-day -day work life, which is what's leading you into this brand new adventure, we see you manifesting the king of coins. So we see the king of coins here, the king of coins there. Magic is at work in your day-to-day -day work life. I have goose pimples because when we see the king of uh, pentacles here and the king of pentacles here as your clarifier, you are manifesting the ability to work very independently. You may be working very hard. You have fire in your belly for this, but this is abundance. You can do it. It's already spelled out for you. So that's what I have for you in terms of your, you know, what you're giving yourself for the future, you are going to absolutely transcend and go from security to security with few ripples in between, just being very cautious and being very mindful and paying attention to what's going on around you. In your psyche, that which is hidden, your 12th house, Neptune, right now we see you having fire in your belly behind the scenes, working very hard, most likely from home. 
and it looks as though you are once again creating and manifesting a tremendous new opportunity for yourself. Your home life looks great. Your love life looks great. So that is your Life Path and Abundance reading for October 2021. I'm going to switch over now to your love reading. Thank you. Sagittarius, let's look at this love reading. Equal give and take. The willingness to give to a relationship is the overall energy in this reading. Sagittarius, we have you feeling in the recent past with your significant other. You know, it's like boring. <laughs> you're kind of bored. You're sort of sitting around going, well, what's going to happen now? We see this energy that it is clarified by your significant other working very hard to add spice to the relationship. Your person feels very much, as do you, that the relationship should have a lot more excitement in it. I'm seeing that in your relationship right now, your mutual energy with your person of interest, the person that you love, is that you're really ready to have a big life change together. So this is mutual energy, the Eight of Cups. Both of you want to walk away from the past, a past that you're very accustomed to, that you really are ready to release. You both are looking once again for this incredible energy of excitement, liveliness, possibly wanting to move to a warm weather climate, maybe even a diff different or distant country, and you want to take your family with you. You feel very, very happy about having your family, and they are definitely a part of your love life. When we look at how your person is viewing you, that your person is viewing you as a person not being so interested in them anymore. And the truth is, that's not the truth. The truth is, it's not the truth. That you still have a lot of fire in your belly. That you see your partner as a divine partner. That you definitely see them as someone that, you know, you want to spend your life with. The Ten of Swords, though, also tells me that there may have been some sort of fighting, conflict, jealousy. Maybe you were at a party. Maybe you're Sagittarius. Maybe your significant other flirted with somebody and you felt that that was very much a betrayal. You feel that, you know, in your heart space, your person really loves you very deeply. They feel like they don't know what to do anymore. Your person really is trying to be a light in your life. Your person sees, again, this is marriage energy. I feel as though this is a you are a married couple with this person who happens to be a, a queen of wands. We see that your person is fighting for the relationship the way they view it. They love the stability. They love the family life. They love the happiness and joy that you've had. But they're willing to fight very hard to get your attention back because they feel as though you're dreaming dreams of faraway places and you are because we just saw your life path and destiny reading which tells you that you have many opportunities coming in and so your person doesn't really understand what's happening with you but I feel like this is an incredibly nice flow from your life path reading what we see hidden between you and your person is that you always have the ability to have passion in your relationship. That's been a very strong aspect of your relationship. The Ace of Coins says you're, you're both very much giving to this relationship. You want a new beginning. You're willing to take some financial risk. Spirit is saying that you need to make a choice choose carefully you're going to have many different options and people will be fighting for your attention what we see here is in your relationship this is so unique i've never had this in a reading sag we see this very strong scorpio energy right eight nine and ten is is pisces energy but we have scorpio scorpio you have decided to absolutely change your life dramatically and it, stop living in your head living in your thoughts and you're going for the further gate there we see the two of you together even metaphorically because here you are it's you your person your family uh, but you are the one who's leading the way you are tired of having this sort of 
situation in a job in which you are not getting the credit or your due or fair compensation. So in your love life, you're actually moving to a very pivotal new beginning within the parameters of a beautiful family, a beautiful um, partner, and someone who shares your values and you are willing to chuck it all, take your chances. They are very calculated risks. But part of your love story is that your dream of happiness includes an intact family as well as it does a, a wife or a husband who is truly your lover and truly a person who's exciting to you. So that's what your love reading is. It's a first for me, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for your time. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from.